So this is a little overgrown. Good for the bees though. How about we fix it today? G'day everyone. Here I am way down this end. I'm going to work my way up, pull out all of the old gone to seed stuff like these daikons here and get new stuff in. Alright, on with it. I have a problem with my daikon. They're going to seed and yet there's no radish on the end. wonder why. Let me know in the comments if you know why this is happening to my poor old daikons. So I've cleared out this bed, which had some old basil in it. I'm going to top it up with a bit of potting mix here. Some potash, some blood and bone, and we're going to put some cucumbers in here. We've got some garlic chives here, which I'll just sort of uh, move out the way. They'll grow fine. They can be buried a bit deeper. I've got my purple temu scoop. This is a soluble potash, so once I water it, it'll dissolve. All right, these are just pretty standard cucumber. We can plant them reasonably close together in pairs. Rufus. Well, Rufus came, uh, sort of disconnected my microphone, so I'm going to have to do a voiceover on this. Basically, what I've done is I've put in two types of cucumbers very close together with two cucumbers in each um, seed cell. The reason we do this is for cross fertilization. So I want the flowers to be nice and close together so we get decent sized cucumbers growing. Now, one thing you will notice there is no trellis. I want these to grow up, not along the ground. To this end, I have a very high tech cure. I salvaged this old uh, clothesline, um, got a bit rusty so we couldn't put clothes on it, and we're going to use that. It looks like it's going to be pretty good. It's free, which is even better and it should do the job for us. So let's get it in. And there we have it. All nicely set up and level. Hopefully our cucumbers will grow up there and we'll get lots and lots of cucumbers out of it. It's time to clean up the dragon fruit. I tag my friend Dreamin' Dragons in this because I'm probably doing it wrong. But all I'm gonna do is take off all these lower branches may or may not replant them and watch out it's a prickly little sucker and hopefully it'll continue to grow upwards so i've got a couple growing up at the top and i'll put some more fertilizer around it and it should be good mr dream and dragon when the potting mix drops down as it decomposes can i just top it up or do i need to pull the whole plant out and uh, not bury it any deeper i appreciate if you could let me know ta all right let's tie it all up want to make this branch bend down and I've done this the wrong way because what it did is it actually cut into the shoot that we've got there and I probably damaged it in some way but anyway we'll see how it goes so I'm going to pop a tomato in here I've got some fertilizer in there I've cleaned it all out had some cucumelon in there which uh, I'm not really fussed whether I keep it or not so this tomato is a tommy toe uh, which is a nice small tomato cherry tomato uh, and they're easier to grow than most of the others all right here they are reasonably well established more established at one end than the other so i'll take one of the larger ones out and a few of the seeds have come up so i'll trim those off and i'll only have the single plant in here now because i'm going to plant this fairly deep i'm going to take some of the lower branches off as well Tomatoes have the ability to grow roots from wherever the stem touches the ground. So I'm going to plant it quite deeply. We should get lots more roots growing from that stem. And hopefully that'll help him be established a bit better. So let's cut the leaves off that are going to be buried. We don't really need them. And we'll just leave them in the bottom of the pot. I think I've got some stuff out the front that I'll use for this. Gathered from a Verge collection. I like reusing stuff. Yep, certainly did. Just some old old mesh. Rather hard to see on the video. So you just put a few stakes around with an opening at the front so we can actually get to the tomatoes. And I hope Rufus is not going to do his camera work again. And one more just to hold it in place. 
well, two more to hold it in place. And then that should be it. One Tommy Toe. All planted and ready to go. Well, my pomegranate has flowered. That's a really pretty flower too. But we've got this cleaned up a little bit. I've got my passion fruit and asparagus in here. I've got my dog here and we roof. Uh, cleaned up this a bit. Got our tomato in and my high tech cucumber trellis is there as well. I like this little bit. This looks really nice now. So if you want to see what happens in here and what we actually get out of it, like, subscribe and enjoy life. I'll catch you in the garden.